Magkipo sa way! I-define muna natin po, ano ha? Ang child sexual abuse. Ano ang child sexual abuse? Ito ay form of child abuse in which an adult or an older adolescent uses a child for sexual stimulation. Ayan. Itong child abuse seems to be more prevalent than is reported. Kasi narinig natin kanina na ayon sa isang study na ginawa sa Barcelona, comprising 22 countries, 65 studies, tinatawag nilang meta-analysis. Ang sinasabi nila, eh, the global average, may estimate sila na 7.9% of men and 19.7% of women globally experience sexual abuse prior to the age of 18. Sino ang nag -aabuso? Mostly po men. And most of the sexual abuse is actually familial, intrafamilial. Although, basta may persons in authority, mga closely related to the family, like uh, like a neighbor or a godparent, etc., kasama na yun. At sinasabi nila na talagang very, very large underreporting ang nangyayari kasi nakakahiya hanggang ngayon po, nakakahiya. Lalo na sa mga babae kasi sinasabi nila eh, baka sasabihin na they provoked the assault or they provoked the abuse. Alam niyo mga kapuso, what did we learn tonight? That one can get over the sexual abuse trauma if one has plenty of support, if one has plenty of prayers, and one has plenty of willpower. Ayan ang kailangan, hindi ba? And I can attest to that, at least as far as parental support is concerned, because meron akong sasabihin sa inyo, ako rin naging biktima ng child sexual abuse, not in any big way like Mildred or was victimized, but in a small way, kasi ito ay nangyari sa akin from a person of authority. Akalain nyo, guest speaker at saka guest of honor. And I was a young child, about maybe 12, 13 years old, ni hindi pa ako riniregla. You know? Alam, ando doon kami. We were going home, nakisakay siya. Marami kami. Eh kasi, you know, new entrance siya. Eh sinabi niya, why don't you sit on my lap? Ako naman si Winnie. Wala. Puti na ang buhok eh. You know, it, at that child, anybody after 30 was already, was already, was already, you know, old. Ayon, di ko alam. Diyos ko po. Abay, he started feeling me up, feeling me up. Takot ko. Hindi ko alam ko anong gagawin ko. What have I done? Eh, feeling me up, etc. I was in a state of panic, mga kapuso. And then what happened is, sabi ko, I have to stop this. I want to get out. Of the, you know, I said, what, what am I going to do? I'll stop it. Alam niya, hindi ako makasilita. First time nung lumabas, eh, sabi ko, ah, parang, eh, eh. And then, lumabas. Sabi ko, please stop the car. Ayon. And this is what happened, ha? Huh? The moment I said, please stop the car, nagka, sabi niya, why, what happened, what happened? Sinabi ko, I just want to get down. Or I want, I want to have this man get down. Nako. Ayan. May dalawang teacher na ando doon. Nako, tinignan sila. Pinababa nila yung lalaki. And then they said, Winnie, what happened? I said, you know, he was feeling my breasts. I had no breasts at the time. So obviously, he was a pedophile. Hindi ba? He was feeling. And I did not know what to do. And I felt so bad na I, hindi ko alam kung, kung you know, gano'ng katagal nangyari. But it could not have been more than three or four minutes before I finally had the nerve to come out. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? A lot of people will just just take it and naku, nakakahiya, etc., etc. Alam nyo, hinatid ako sa bahay ng dalawang teacher na yon. We were plenty in the car, pero hinatid ako sa bahay. Kinuwento nila sa tatay ko at saka sa nanay ko. This is where the support comes in. At that time, feeling guilty na feeling guilty ako. Baby, I did something that because he was the guest speaker and the guest of honor. My parents talagang no questions asked. Gustong, gustong sunggaban ng tatay ko. But the man came the next day. My father almost killed him. But violence. He, first, sinabi niya, hindi, you know, nag, parang, parang nag-exaggerate lang ako, etc. 
sabi ng tatay ko, aside from trying to sexually exploit my daughter, you are telling me that she is a liar? Na ako, nagkuan. Alam nyo, he, he not only was an acquaintance of my father, he was the son of a friend of my father's. Dumating yung parents, nung, nung, nung lalaki, he was an older man, nakabarot saya pa sila, etc. What I really must tell you, was that it was the support of my parents that made me strong and made me feel that no, I did not have any fault in this. Kasi ang nangyayari sa biktima, they always feel that's guilty. But because of that strong support, wala akong kagilt-gilt. As a matter of fact, ang galing-galing talaga ng father and mother ko. Sinabi nila sa akin, Winnie, do you want, do you want us to file a case against this man? Because it is your decision. You want to punish him, we will punish him. And I said, no, it's, you know, it's done, finished. He already has apologized. His parents have apologized enough. In other words, it was I. It was my decision, not their decision. We need baka mahipapahiya ka, etc., etc. That's my experience with child sexual abuse. And I tell you, mga kapuso, without the support, of my parents, I think I would have been hurt tremendously because they brought back my confidence right away. And as a result, I learned a lesson and they taught me that lesson. It was a very hard lesson to learn, but because not all adults should be respected, not all adults should be obeyed, that a child, no matter how young, must use their minds, right, to say this is wrong, and I will do something about it. In other words, mga kapuso, whatever happens to the child abuse victim is going to depend very greatly on the persons around him or actually her, because her is usually the victim. That support or yung withdrawal ng support na yan is going to spell the difference between success and failure in the closure that this victim has. So mga kapuso, kung kayo ay potential supporters o potential yung parents or friends or whatever at hindi kayo sumuporta talaga pasaway kayo bawal ang pasaway kay Marie Winnie